My name's Tony and today I'm going to be making a couple Imperial Gins. Let's start by making one the cheapest I can make. The gin I'm going to be using is Gordon's London Dry Gin. It's so cheap. It's got to be horrible. Uh, let's, let's do a taste test of it. Uh, yeah, it smells like it smells like rubbing alcohol with some pine needles. Oh, that's horrible. Pretty much vodka with some juniper. It's, it's disgusting. For drinking neat, I would rate that a 39 out of 100. Okay, an imperial gin is basically two parts gin, one part lemon juice, one part lime juice, and filled with some club soda. But I'm going to make it cheap, so... I'm not even going to use real lemons and limes. So let's uh, put some ice in the shaker. Nice and cheap, straight out of the kitchen freezer. Use this real lemon juice. One ounce of that. One ounce real lime juice. Fuck. Right, I'm gonna shake that up. Fill a highball with more ice cubes from your freezer. Strain it. And top it with the Club soda. Should be about three ounces. And you're going cheap. Uh, you're not going to garnish, so there it is. Cheap Imperial Gin. All right. Oh. It's really bad. It tastes like someone squeezed all the juice out of a lemon and left the pith, and you're just licking the pith of the lemon. There's the, there's the hint of juniper in there. It's covered up a little, though. It's, that's really bad. I'm going to give this a 55 out of 100. Who would drink this? All right, let's go uh, top shelf here with uh, Imperial Gin. I'm not going to use that same freezer ice. It tastes like fish. Let's use some uh, clear ice in here. So I'm going to try this number three London Dry Gin. This bottle costs uh, about $43. I'm 
The Gordon's only cost 11. It's distilled in Holland. Do a taste test of it. It's pretty much smells like Gordon's, but a little fruitier. bad <laughs> it's horrible does anyone drink gin neat it's disgusting I'll give that a 40 out of 100 pretty much the same as Gordon's slightly not so bad all right let's mix this up with Two ounces gin. I'm gonna take a slice off this lemon before I juice it. There we go. One ounce is usually half a lemon. This is an enormous lemon. And I'm going to take one ounce of lime juice. Let's get some uh, clear ice in this highball. I can get some clear ice into my thumb. What a shitty glass. So I'll just use a Collins glass instead. It's a little smaller. I'm going to pour a little less in so I can keep the club soda amount equal. Let's try this again. Good enough. Garnish with this lemon. There we go, an expensive Imperial Gin. It's all right, that lemon and lime, much better than the stuff that's not fresh. The pine comes through, it just tastes much more fresh. I wouldn't say it's good, I would almost say it's bad. I wouldn't be angry with this drink though. So I'd give this one a 68 out of 100. I'd give that glass a 0 out of 100 though. What a piece of shit. I mean, look how thin that is. Alright, I'm gonna down this horrible drink and I'm gonna drank that mediocre one also. So uh, thanks for watching.